Lord. Okay, we're good. And I'm just and sharing. This is October 31st uh, Public Doc Advisory Committee uh, bi weekly meeting. And we have, we have uh, Chris online, but he, uh, did you say he does not have, uh, he doesn't have a microphone right now, Mary, is that? He doesn't have a mic. Okay. So we'll pull up the agenda and then if he can just, um, he'll just and, and pop into the chat and see if, um, okay, so the first thing we had was to, to welcome um, Wayne and I'll just, I'll tell you that, yes, I talked to Wayne. Um, he is currently working, but he plans to retire pretty soon. He does work with the um, conservation district. He is experienced, therefore, he actually has worked with the folks over at Drayton Archaeology, um, mm -hmm. which was one of the, the folks who had helped us to put the grant together, um, helped us give us a, a quote, and a, would, we would anticipate getting a response from them for our RFQ. Um, very uh, interested in, in serving, says, you know, as he's kind of winding down his career, he's looking for, to participate more on the island. And... Uh, he also has a skill set and tool, which would be helpful for us. At work, he's allowed to use their GIS mapping system oh. for his own purposes. Oh, it means cool. that we would be able to supplement anything. And, you know, the, the system that I use is not GIS mapping. It's decent, but his will be a much more sophisticated a solution, I'm believing. And that mm -hmm. will help us to provide uh, graphics to the island, to Parks and Rec, to and to the grant itself, probably to enhance what we would get from our consultants. So that's good. Right. I wasn't anticipating that. It's always good to have an extra benefit. So I'll be back in touch with him. Um, I sent him. You saw in the the email. I sent him links to get to the Google Drive and such. His area of particular specialty, he said, was the. Uh, cultural resources, but happy to participate in the whatever else is needed. And that was awesome. Yeah, he's a longtime resident on the island. And so that's really, that's great. Yes. And, and he, where does he live? Uh, he lives over on um, Seacrest. Oh, okay. Okay, so then I'll pop on. Chris, I actually had discussion about the what I'm currently calling the dock location analysis uh, on the agenda when I was copying and pasting last night. I, it looks like I dropped it. So, um, are you? Do you want to talk about that today, or you want to um, give us a quick like what's going on with that, and how are you feeling about that, and what can we do to help you? Can you hear me? Hear me? Hear me? Hear me? Hear me? Yes, we got oh, a little nice. echo. <laughs> <laughs> that should fix it. Yeah, that did. Phew. Finally. Did you hear the question, Chris? I did not. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, sorry. Matt. Uh, so if you want to give us a, uh, any update, anything we can help you with. I emailed two uh, pages, one from Jim Dickinson and one from Larry Roteman. And I appreciate the updated phone numbers, which I plan on calling today on others. Jim did quite a few of them, though, and I don't know if that's going to work for us or not. But uh, uh, short and okay. sweet to the point. I'm hoping that's what we're looking for. Okay. So... Um... We could oh, okay. add pictures as necessary to anything. Oh, okay. So, well, this is an interesting point because this is not so much just the we go through each area. All, I mean, we could extract from this, I suppose, and just say, listen, from the factors we raised, hmm. the the assumption, like in number two, that the property would not be available is we would have to pursue whether parking could be available, um, and in fact, did not actually that I can think of find any sites that parking was inherently or easily or I should say publicly 
uh, available and accessible. So um, that that's this is great to have a narrative. They're you know big on narratives, and I think that's this is what will save. And maybe maybe our report, if you will, will include both the analysis and narrative. Okay, uh, that's great. I didn't, um, and then we'll look at next at at, at Dave's um, Jim. And then, excuse me, Jim's. And then later we'll, yeah, think about how we consolidate. And that would be something that engineers can help us look at, Parks and Rec can help us look at um, what would be a, a good format. Awesome. Thank you. Is there another um, input from Jim? Yeah. I, let me let me see if I can. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. My bad. Yeah. So let's look at this. I'll just open it. Uh, open this. Oh, well, that's kind of funny. I'm not. Oh, let me. Maybe I didn't open it all the way. Here we go. It's funny. I don't. I'm not seeing a. Not seeing an attachment here. Oh, did I not attach it? <laughs> it? It doesn't have Jim's name on it, but I'm guessing this is one you're talking about. I'll try to send it real quick again. Yep. Da -da -da -da. Use attach, attach, attach. Just step up for a Why didn't that work? I do not understand. Computers are not my favorite. <laughs> I am so with you on that, Chris. Let me weld something. <laughs> uh, let me float something and try to steer it. <laughs> Yeah, that too. Send to, send to. Mm -hmm. Mail recipient? Let's try that. <laughs> can't be found. Why can't it be found? How the... Some, if, sometimes it works. If you forward the message from him, it... Your well, I scanned it and it's a PDF file. I get it. Perfect. Okay, never mind. Got it. Okay, let's try this. Let's try this. Sorry, folks. It's okay. Hey. I tried to send it earlier. It didn't work. Yeah, I couldn't. I I couldn't download it on my... Aha. I think it worked. Hey. Oh, good. I 
Check your email, Wayne. Oh. Wait. Maybe we'll come back to that. That's, that's kind of not sure why my, my mail is, is uh, slow, but maybe we'll come back to that to do that vote. Okay. Sure. Okay. Come back. Return to that. All right. Uh, next uh, uh, order of business I figured was to talk about the uh, the input we got from from KPFF, and I'll bring that open. And I have all of the uh, her notes. I, I have her notes. But what I went ahead just so that I could see it. Uh, clearly, was I went ahead and just kept all her changes to see what it looked like. And so primary changes had to do with the um, one change was, she said, based on the budget, she was proposed mm -hmm. to reduce this to two public opinion open houses, one of them launching project and then one to present feedback on design alternatives. I personally, personally feel that we should continue to put in the proposal that we're looking for three and to find out if that doesn't fit into our budget. Mm -hmm. I, I'm concerned because I feel as if that's not, that's not enough. So what do you guys think? I can't recall. Did we specify three in the... At least three. At least three in the grant... Right. Originally, yeah. uh, in the, uh, actually in the grant, I I think we may, oh, that's an interesting point, Dave. I, I actually think we might have said three in the grant. I'd have to look that up. Um, Double check that. Uh, yeah, if you don't mind. You, I, I mean, I can find it, but if you want to check it while we're talking. Uh, uh, any other thoughts? I think the public outreach is really crucial. Um especially with the nearby property owners. And I think that concern, you know, we need help on the best way to approach that. Um, and to, to get it documented and stuff like that. Um, I, I think that that's, I don't know. I, and I think that's what we did say was at least three in the original one. I'm looking now, guys, trying to find it. Because it's also, <clears throat> we, we'd have to find out like from Parks and Recreation, uh, it would surprise me that Parks and Recreation would think that three was adequate. And I think when we, you know, we think of the phasing, when you know, they're getting started, the we're halfway through, now we're at the end. That's what I was thinking about too, is that mm -hmm. how you keep people well enough mm -hmm. informed without doing that. Um, and in a fit of, you know me, I can never let anything go. I went ahead and went as far north as center view and actually picked up um some more owners because it turns out that it is exactly the same distance from the location to center view as it is from the location to ranger way so we picked up this is the new revised one and it's 24 properties okay so that's the new north, and then the south is here. So 12 south of and 24 north of. And I think that that's actually so for 36 property owners out of 
X number of property owners on the island. That's actually quite a quite a few. Here's a consolidated look. Uh, this is I'm sorry. This is the old one. This has 18. I need to re re paste this. It it'll be um yeah 24. Now oh, guys, in the grant application, it we stated the committee expects to host at least three public forums in numerous planning meetings during the pre-planning phase. Okay. I think I think that's that pretty much sums it up then, right? Yeah. <laughs> we're yeah. not able, having committed to that, we're not able to, to, to not do that. Yeah, thank you, Dave. I, I thought all yeah. along that that the the I think we would get enormous pushback from the, the community if we did not do that. Well, the other thing is though, is that we could we could still host like pre-planning meetings. Like we did the initial town hall that was an all Zoom meeting. Uh huh. And yeah. we, right. and and that is you know during the pre-planning phase. I just I feel like we do need to have a community meeting and just let people's voices be heard, um, pro, con, and indifferent. I, I, I... Well, that's a good point, Mary. We could have additional meetings that are not hosted by KPFF, for example. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. How do other people feel about that, Chris? Yeah, I I think more more opportunities to have people voice their views and opinions will be healthy, and uh, you know keeping them informed of what's going on and how a lot of this is not us doing anything than jumping through hoops that are necessary and following the directions that we're given. Mm -hmm. But yeah, communication I think is definitely a always a good thing. More the better, give people opportunities. Yeah. So maybe the way to structure that is, you know, we if if the budget is limited for KPFF or whoever the consultant happens to be, we do this uh, hosted uh, public outreach meeting, and then we have like uh, follow up meetings, right? Mm -hmm. And like uh, <laughs> you get the teacher out of the way, and then you can really talk about what your feelings are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's, that's a good point. But I think that um, the, the, the problem, we, we don't want to run into a situation where we hold it, we're holding this meeting and they start asking a lot of questions we can't answer. Hmm. So I think that's where I personally would say, we'll leave three in the RFQ. You tell mm -hmm. us what you can include in the budget. You choose to get, and during interviews. We'll ask, how do you handle this if, and I mean, they might say, hey, if you're doing a Zoom and we'll have one of our engineers on to answer questions. Oh. And that's the mm -hmm. same level of uh, commitment and, and cost. Right. They don't necessarily have to be on site for all of them. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think that if we just did hybrid, a hybrid meeting, um, that's a that's a really good way of I, th I think of doing that, letting them be aware of what's going on. And that would take maybe an hour and a half to two hours of time. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so rather than them facilitating the meeting. Yeah. So maybe one of their facilitators is online with us to help. And to listen and to get that read on, you know, what's going on here. Mm -hmm. the is if we could have done it by ourselves, we would have done it by ourselves, right? Um, so not necessarily a full uh, contingent. Okay. Yeah. Discuss during interviews. What has been your experience? How do you do this? And they could have, yeah, just very much read this as assumption of full blown. And nowadays, the, the uh, this island, I think, is well uh, has a good history, really good history. I mean, look at the that that um, the forum, the um, the election forum, 
I think was a good indication to show the island is getting very, very good at participating in hybrid meetings. Discussed during interviews. Okay. Okay, great. Um, the other changes, if, if I kind of understood them correctly, mm -hmm. most of the other changes just had a, a flow for the due dates that was changed and eliminated a specific entry, to, uh, uh, I should say, a specific reference to like the 60, 60%. They, they did mm -hmm. it. So they added um, the, the public and ag agency mm -hmm. engagement plan which may in fact satisfy all along, we wondered if that would satisfy the draft uh, input mm -hmm. that, that RCO was looking for. Um, and so three weeks, quicker than we were. Uh, mm -hmm. So the whole, I mean, the bottom line is also, you notice end of July is what mm -hmm. they were guessing. Mm -hmm. So the question I guess for you folks is if we, and she, I think she was leaving, she left in estimated dates. Mm -hmm. Now, the one thing she did point out, and we have to think about this a little harder, the the final, the, the cultural resources study is actually due at the end of March. So this says end of March, but which one? I'm sorry, she says, preferred alternative early April, assuming that you have their input. And I'm guessing, you know, they're, they will have, the cultural resources consultants will have input within, you know, very short per period of when they hit the ground. The final report RCO is not due until the end of March. So I think the informed part, we would feel confident we would have the informed part early to the engineering consultants. So I think we could still just leave that. Um, I think what I might recommend here is if these dates, these are proposed dates from them. From them. And we're, you know, we're talking end of July here. We have till. End of September. End of September. So we, we could pad these out a little bit just to give ourselves for the milestone. Uh, yeah. Listing, right? Yeah. So I was wondering, I mean, one way to do this is if we put an extra week in each one, three to four weeks, eight to nine weeks. Mm -hmm. I do like, and all along I thought we need to give a sort of the guideline for ourselves, you know, and I'm just assuming anybody realizes if you went away and drew all the all the designs, sure, you could get done really quickly. But if you honestly have to have a review period and discussion period and input, and you do not want to tell the island that, you know, four days after you give input, design is done. <laughs> You're like, oh, so you had a design all figured out and all you were doing was, you know, hmm. getting <laughs> people to give lip service, not not so, really feedback. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So what do you think? Um, I, I'm going to send this again. Um, uh, the next part of the, the, the um, discussion on this topic is that I have uh, reached out to I reached out to Transpac, and then I've already sent them this same draft, okay. and also um, have gotten back from the uh, anchor Q and E. Yes, send us an RFQ. So I was thinking today before I send it to them, I'll just modify this slightly to put in. So what do you think? A little wiggle room, so three to four weeks, eight to nine, eight to ten weeks, something like that. And I'll just make sure it ends the date it needs to end. <laughs> yeah, Lane, um, yeah. one thing may be that it will be more cost effective to not drag it out yeah. over such a long period of time. Yeah. And mm -hmm. maybe that's kind of what Kelly is thinking of because, you know, if you have a project and it's nice to just have it done. And I want to anything because if you've gone on now for nine months, you may have had mm -hmm. staff, you may have had things like people are like, oh, wait, where were we with this? And there is a, um, a, an economy of scale and economy of speed, if you will. You're exactly right, Mary. Um, so I'm going to say slightly, just add one week, uh, and see. Oh, hang on. Well, not on the short ones. Let me look and see. 
um, because it's true what we were getting is basically their answer. Um, I, I think here I would put three to four because it would still be early January. Yep. Or we could put early January. And bids are closing. Um, well, under this scenario, you were saying it looked like you had December 1st it's on the be RFQs and we we can't quite get it done by then, but we'll have it by the uh what is is Friday the third? This Friday? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna be bold and say that I'm gonna show you guys the advertisement in my personal humble opinion. Mm -hmm. This is not, you know, uh, we're not looking for the Pulitzer Prize. <laughs> and it is more important that it be out there, not that it be the best thing ever written. And mm -hmm. And we were able to achieve deadlines, and so and my 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 recommendation is go. Are you saying you publish them on the third, Mary, or late? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh no, no, no. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's November. Excuse me. So, so the here the date. They saw me. Responses then would be by if we get it out by the third. Responses would be, um, we'd have. Uh, <laughs> To work it out again um we have to if we if you advertise on the third we advertise again on the 17th oh, you have to do twice on the 31st to respond i'm sorry Lee. you have to publish twice is that what that's the point. That's the point. You have to publish twice. Oh, I see. Okay. And you have to um wait a second. I sent I sent you guys this and now I forget. Um you here it is. Procurement got requirements. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe it's one week. It must be once a week for two weeks. Oh, that's right. So the third and the tenth we advertise. Hmm. That means the twenty-fifth. They have to respond. Okay, so they have one week after the 17th. Wait a minute, you're saying now the third and the tenth for ads, right? It says mm -hmm. once a week, once yeah. a week. So third and tenth, and then 14 days. So the 24th, 25th, that's what you're saying? Yeah. So. Yeah. So, so December three at the latest, 10 is the second, and uh, 24 uh, is 14 days after. I'm saying December 3rd. I, I keep forgetting, mm -hmm. November. Okay, so they're due at Thanksgiving, basically. Mm -hmm. Then that gives us. Not that so ten days after bids close. See, I I think the interview is completed. Uh, you know, we can do interviews as soon as we get responses. We can start doing interviews. We don't have to close bids to start doing interviews. That, I think that was my confusion at the time. Mm. So if we say mm. that, and this is why other dates have actually been as close as seven. So if that was seven days, and then the PSA was seven days, and this is by a little later. Let's, let's look at that. So seven days after bids close, seven days after completion. Okay. So, so on uh, December 1, uh, interviews finished. Uh, December 8, contract. Sign. Now okay. that gives us the twenty fourth is the final day, and that that gives us enough to if we actually got something from somebody else, we could still continue. 
but that would be, um, we couldn't December 1st, December 8th, contract signed. So project begins, does that make it December 15th project begins? Um, okay, so November 3rd would be the first ads go out. November mm -hmm. 10th, the second ads would go out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, they would have 14 days after that to reply. That's correct? Yes. So that would be, the 24th would be the deadline. And that is, I believe, Friday after Thanksgiving. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and that would give us two weeks to finish the interviews and get the contracts reviewed and everything. I think that um, that means we need to start writing the contracts up immediately. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, because Dan and uh, Traxler, she responded to me. She's not real comfortable doing like the grant grant reviews and stuff like that, but she is um, professional service, the contracts for professional service. She is comfortable doing that for us. Okay. Okay, good. So I, I really would like to try to get like our tentative contracts written up sooner rather than later. And maybe we can. I have the example from Rod. I mean, yeah, from Rod to Rod to her. Mm -hmm. And then and I have her review, maybe have her review that and see if she has suggestions and we can just say, this is what we're looking for. I don't know. Okay. I, yeah. I, I think that, yeah, we need to be working on that pretty hard during this advertising period. Mm -hmm. Okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. So it's ready to go and they just have to look at it and go, no, this doesn't work for us or whatever. Yeah. The, the contract is not specific to the consultant. And yeah. I think, I, actually, I think even it doesn't, uh, we may still have three contracts, one for each. Yes, because <laughs> each of them are going to involve different expectations. Yeah. yeah. So, um, but, it, but within the group, it's not specific to who you are, it's just what you're doing. Yes. Yeah, it's the contract for what, what services they will provide for this much money. And this is what they're going to do. And this is their deadlines and stuff like that. So, okay. Um, and that's where we're going to have to negotiate um, with them. <laughs> yeah. In the contract, because that's, I think that's the point where we get specific on what they are going to do if they're going to do two public meetings or if they're going uh -huh. to do and how they're doing that and that gives us things to help us decide which consultant firm to hire yeah so okay okay so i will i will look at the at the especially that first date being right you know around the holidays i think mm -hmm. uh, i think we'll want to you know have more wiggle room and then let me look at the others let's see here so if we said um estimate mid-january uh for the public and agency engagement plan mm -hmm. um and then oh this is interesting 
So they they date the design I see after the first public meeting. Okay. So if we said mid March, oh, I'm sorry. If so, what does that mean? So they're thinking they'll have the first public meeting by mid January, and we. I'm just going to say this would be end end March because if we had them kick off mid January, uh, I'm sorry, if they, the kickoff plans were mid January then you start the conceptual designs and eight weeks is end of March, right? Mm -hmm. Well, if they start, okay. Is that, so I got this, dates never being my strong point. No, that's, that's, that's right. Is that seem right? Yeah. So then your next one needs to be mid April, I guess, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, also just thinking um, uh, the um, sort of island island timing means that, was this, I'm sorry, was this, yeah, April. Yeah, April. Preferred alternative, late April or end April. And then the eight weeks is that would make actually this end June. And four weeks more is end August, uh, July. And four weeks more is end August, which is actually closer to what we had. So it works, yeah. But, but I'm, I, I, I think that the ambition of getting the, the advertisements at the time we did this, we did not understand about the deadline and advertisements. Mm -hmm. And you can't, yeah. Again, I don't anticipate getting any more. I think that we, we, we have. Three who said they'll give us bids, and I think we'll call it good, but um, we we cannot say we're going to advertise for the required period and not do it. <laughs> yeah. So, <clears throat> um, and then my hope is still that we're not going to have the marine surveys done until after the into the uh, February March anyway, and then the consulting the the cultural resources survey is the timeline he gave all along was, was quite short actually. So I can't imagine why they wouldn't be able to begin um, in early January done easily by the end of March. Yeah, one thing with the cultural resources, I don't know how far out they need to go in the water because that could be a little title dependent. I don't know. Um, it wasn't. There, there is some aspect of that, but it's not. That's a good question. But again, the 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 their final report being due. See, estimate. Let's see. We made that in March. Um, I have her original, by the way. We can always go back to that. This is this is my copy of hers. Um, okay. Okay. So I think for us, the other the, just the the other aspect of it is making finding out for our own milestones with RCO. Will this these mile, you know, how do these milestones map to, you know, is this in fact a draft plan? Which originally I was thinking that's what a draft plan would be. It would be, how are we going about this? Yeah. And then 30% yeah. would be the, here's what we're, we're doing on the conceptual. And then the, the refinement here, the preferred, so somewhere in between here and here, we would be giving uh, RCO, you know, here's where we are so far. So four weeks in, here's where we are so far, and eight weeks in is. Yeah. Um, Ten weeks in. Yeah, I'm looking. The public and agency meetings on the alternatives. Okay, so we're, that's when we're presenting 
the alternatives to the public and I'm uncomfortable with the preferred alternatives selected by LICA one week from um, mid-April. Um, I, I think that the way I would foresee doing this would be have a meeting, have it all presented, um, get feedback from people at the meeting, but then uh, robustly publicize, like taking input and comments from people on the island after they've had a chance to look at the proposal. And I would, I would like to give Islanders at least two weeks to comment on that before like a, ex, like a decides on a final alternative. I, I just think that that would better have community engagement. Uh huh. I, I think you're right. Yeah. It, it does smack of, we already knew. Oh, yeah, and I just don't want it to go there. I want it to be, I think, I think it needs to be, you know, talked about by the community. And I, I know we're going to have roadblocks. But I just think it, yeah. And so two weeks feels like enough. Then. Yep. Yeah. To yeah. I don't know what 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 do the rest of you think? I think Chris? that's fine. I think it's more than fine. Do you think yeah. it's too fine? Is it waiting too long? You know the the attention span of us people is pretty short, <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. and if we go longer than that, it's just it's going to lose attention. So um, good point. Okay. Yeah, I I think if we just do a two week drive, yeah, and just like, uh, you know, get get info out, um, you know, Br Brown Betty, have you know, have you have you filled out the survey yet? Da da da. Go here. Just you know, really have to do a bunch of reach outs to the island, um, and. And you think about tome deadlines. Um, usually tomes don't come out until the end of the third week of the month. Hmm. And so, you know, if you if you hit it at the third week of the month before you have the the thing, I I, I think because the tome gets the widest the widest readership on the island compared to the e-tome and next door um and brown betty like the tome is mm -hmm. the thing that's total saturation mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay and so i think on the public involvement things we need to keep tome deadlines in mind mm -hmm. Okay. So on when we set our dates for the meetings to have it shortly after a tome article comes out, so maybe the week yeah. following. Um I I just think that's something that we need to keep before us. Yeah. That's a good point. And in all of these being end um end of month, the only the public the, them them telling us how they're going to go about is mid January, which means into the third week of January, we can, we can publish it. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, that's a super good point. I can't remember. But I think from the from RCO and Parks and Recreation perspective, that you're also exactly right. This is our very formal, totally widespread, best way of getting information out to people. And so we want to make sure we. 
And this is when you say, well, what did you do? You didn't, yeah, here's our tomes. That's what we, you know, that was a big. Yeah, and that would also be for your um, scheduling of your first public agency community outreach meeting that the consultant does. We just need to try to remember to schedule those within that time deadline as well. Uh, let me just look again at the, the what we have here is um, meeting on alternative mid. That's an interesting point. Uh huh. Well, I think this is this is the big. Yeah, if you do something like the first week, it, the tome will be out. So the first week is is usually within good time because that allows time for the tome to be delivered, people to get it on their calendar. So a meeting can happen in that first week. Your second <laughs> week gets a little far out, um, and then. That third week, it's not great to schedule because that's like kind of the end of people's attention spans. And then you have to hit them over the stick, over the head with a stick again to remind them that, oh, yeah, this is happening. Well, I mean, certainly on a project of this magnitude, I think we go ahead and do extra brown Bettys before the tone. Hey, hey. Yep. Yep. Super important information is coming in the tome. Here's the date. Save the date. Read the tome so you know what's the date about, what the date is. Yeah. About. So I suspect that that's going to be, you know, a uh, mission for us making sure we have on the calendar. Yeah. But you have to remember that um, always you have to still think that there is a lot of people that don't subscribe to Brown Betty. Brown Betty's circulation list has gone up. We're almost up to, I think, 300 and maybe, maybe close to 400 now that we've made it. So you don't have to donate to, to get Brown Betty, but, and we're still in the process of trying to grow that. Okay. Well, we'll have people sign up also for the newsletter, which we'll talk about. Oh, 10 till um mm -hmm. quickly at the end of this uh not as uh, okay. yeah keep us moving Thanks. okay mm -hmm. so uh there we go okay so that sounds good to people i'll i'll send out a, a revision before i i post it one more time on but i i think that yeah i think that the the rfq we don't want to map you know, we don't anticipate the KPFF's input is exactly that it was input, and so I think we'll, we'll stick with these. Which is, again, we after we moved the, the choice consultant choice up two weeks, so everything else would make sense that it would adjust two weeks. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other any other thing we have to do this minute for engineering and design? Lane, uh, just uh, check your email again. I think I got it to go through, by the way. Oh, okay. Okay, let's revisit real quick. Yeah. When? It's a miracle. <laughs> Maybe it's a win. Oh, there it is. So, west of... Harbors, I like that. Uh -huh. Oh yeah, okay. Non-official, na -na 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 -na. okay. Um, so, oh good, so he did some of the. I asked him to pick two sites and mainly all his stuff and then he gave us way more and that's okay. It's just, oh, good. That's, we have... know, I put it in their ball court, so. You bet. <clears throat> okay, yeah. Oh, 
Okay, great. You forward that to the rest of us, Wayne? I'll do that. Yeah. <clears throat> Thank you. You bet. Okay. Um, Is there a conclusion out of his? Uh, it looks like each of them has the pros and cons, which is what we're okay. looking for. So okay. um, let me just put this in red. Uh, lane forward. Uh, okay, cool. You don't. Um, Okay, the uh, okay. So um, I'm moving on now to the marine survey. So the marine survey, we have the two quotes. The good news is I need to prepare this RFQ because it has to be ready to go with the advertisement. That's yes. why it might not be a Friday because I have to make sure I can write an RFQ. Super simple. Mm -hmm. um, but the good news is the second quote we got was a true pre-preliminary, meaning it only included the tasks that are appropriate for the level of the feasibility study. So I should be able to take theirs and transform it into an RFQ uh, rather easily. What I can't do is guess dates. Mm -hmm. I can say to be uh, completed to inform design and say then that end of March. But other than that, I have no idea. It's when they can come out. Mm -hmm. So that's basically, we need you to come out. We need you to come out before March. You can come out anytime after your contract is signed. Yeah. <laughs> Up to you, right? Yeah. And it's, and it's, and it's going to be a short. Uh, it like a must be completed now. by X date for to get it to the design consultant. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, and I will send you guys, uh, I will post on uh, the that, that, quote and send you guys the link to it uh, uh, later today so you can see it. Um, I have not found a third consultant yet. I need to poke the people I did get in touch with and never heard back from. Um, in the end, it would not shock me that we actually only got two responses because there's a very small pool. Um, mm -hmm. We need to take ones that are registered with the state to do this work. And mm -hmm. it's a small tool, tool. But I'll also be advertising as soon as the RFQs will be ready. I'll be going ahead and advertising on the minority uh, disadvantaged and women owned businesses. They have a site that's free for you to uh, huh. advertise on and on uh, the veterans. I need to find the site where you can um, advertise for veteran owned businesses. Is there still a uh newsletter called the Puget Sound Business Journal? Uh, I don't know, but here's what we're running into. Uh, it never dawned on me. We did not put any budget for this advertising into our grant. And folks, to do it two times, the reason I said we need to combine it, it's going to be $500 in the Bellingham Herald. Mm. So I will talk to Andrea. It is possible we can put the cost of procurement as part of the services contract, and then it would divide up to only like 170 for each. But when I first mm -hmm. put the ad in for a single RFQ, I suddenly realized, okay, folks, we're up to like $1,600 just for mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, we can't do that. So then I was like, wait a minute, it's a project. Let's advertise once. Yeah, and is that okay to do? Yes. Yeah, it's okay to do. They have no, they have no um, guidance, frankly, in uh, all all that the contract says is you must advertise in a, um, you must advertise. This information about the two weeks, that's all from assuming we were a local government. Mm-hmm. Um, and I've also found, I was able to get into that MRSC site and realize they do have some, some examples, but the, um, the point here from 
RCO is just that we advertise. And for what to include, uh, I got from Rod, and it is basically these elements. That's it. So all so. we, it, it, and the thing is, they're all project based. I realized, and by dividing our stuff, it would make it confusing. And I thought, and then I realized, well, combining it just makes sense. This is a a project. This is what we have from our contract. Publish, specify date, contractor hire. I mean, that's that's all they have. Yeah, I wonder if this would be a question, I think, to call Rod and talk to him about, because um, I'm just wondering if it would, and I don't know how expensive it would be to advertise in Puget Sound Business Journal versus yeah. the Bellingham Herald. I think it would have a wider subscription base. Well, so it's called Puget Sound Business? Yeah. I just went to their website, Mary. They do exist. <laughs> yeah. And I think that's kind of that it it it, it says in their in their stuff that it's like um fine professional consultants and stuff like that. I think that's one of the things that they try to do I, and I, I i i think it would be good to check with rod rod to just see if that would be because if we're if we're talking about it, it says a widely dis, distributed person uh, uh -huh. periodical or something in their things and um, you know, we, I think that would be a more likely place for people to look than just the Bellingham Herald. So it's Puget Sound Journal? I think it's what it's called is the Puget Sound yeah. Business Journal. Yeah, that's right. And I think... Yeah, but I I think that has because I think Bellingham Herald circulation is not very wide. Um let me see if I can see how much their advertising rates are. I mean, you're gonna confirm with Andrea about the one times ad, right? No, it's nothing to do with Andrea. They have no idea. The RC, I mean, they, they say RCO. That is you, the entire extent advertised. That's all they're saying. And then they say comply with local. And if I read through the local, all they say is you need to have an advertisement that says we have RFQs. We're publishing what is, on RFQs. What is it, the it's, local reference that you're talking that? about? What is this local reference you're talking local about? Local government. Local government? If we were to act like we were parks and recreation, right. And that is the standard to which I believe we will want to mm -hmm. apply ourselves. If we were parks and recreation, we don't have to do this because we have the magic database of advertising. Mm. Our whole point is we're acting like a local government that doesn't have the tools of local government. Mm-hmm. So, so our the, the, the two course, times ad requirement came from where? That okay. was from the, they, they still, I should take it back. They use MSRC as their primary. And then as they say, you can advertise if you advertise this. Uh, actually, you know what? I think it's because they don't take into account. This is our state law. Department of Commerce says, you may distribute RFQs hmm. as a formal competitive, da, 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 da. you, da, 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 da. once the advertisement is prepared, it must be published at a minimum. 
this is what it says. Yeah, yeah. So we don't have this magic database that we can use. They have, I'm guessing, used both. The advertisement that Rod sent me was actually from the uh, Port Authority, and they had one RFQ because they only had one thing they were looking for. But what 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 it says is it's about the project, and it is about mm -hmm. in which we need three consultants. So if we advertise three different ones of these, I honestly think that's what would be much more confusing than just to say, hey, we mm. have money, we're spending on three consultants, and here's our, here's our, our here are our needs, and here's how you found out what, uh, where the RFQ is, here's how you respond to the RFQ, and here is your um, uh, statement about the, the uh, uh, non-discrimination statement. Yeah, okay, I was just curious. I mean, maybe we're not compelled to follow the state guideline, but, you know, <laughs> and we want to save money here, but, you know, 250 bucks for a second ad is short money just to, we could state that we followed the state guidelines on procurement, right? Uh, well, the one thing that concerns me is if you look down, the one gotcha on the contract is sponsors may be required to certify that we have followed any applicable. Yes. Um, and I'm wanting to say that while we did not find any for local, for a nonprofit, we followed a higher standard, which is to behave as if we were a local government. Yeah, and I think that's important. So yeah. I'm, I think the 500, the 500 I didn't have, my heart stopped when I got to the 1600. I went, wait, what? Mm -hmm. um, and realized, oh, well that is, and in the end, since we are also seeking them directly, which is again, perfectly allowed in an RFQ situation. That's the whole point. If we were, um, hanging around here long enough, a year ago, we might have said, hey, let's create a database of all possible consultants who could help us with a grant we don't have yet. Um, we could have created our own database and actually had sort of a, a curated list of people to work with. That's what they're allowed to do. Yeah, but, well, that's what we are sort of doing and reaching are. out to, you know, picking and, you know, just talking to people and who's who at the zoo. And that's um, exactly what the um, uh, American, the, the uh, archeo historical archeologist said to do, you know, mm -hmm. meet, reach out to people and say, hey, are you interested? Do you have capacity? Is this something that's in your wheelhouse? Let us talk. Yeah. And so as soon yeah. as they said that, I'm like, okay, state uh, agency says, this is how you go about it when you don't have as extensive resources. Now, one mm -hmm. of the things that RCO is going to learn is when you have a grant to small non-governmental agencies, next time you'll know better how to give us guidance. And this time you, you don't know. You're mm -hmm. assuming mm -hmm. you're parks and recreation. <laughs> you're assuming yeah. we, have, we have resources because um, you haven't done this low resource type of grant before. Yeah, and this is a good learning experience for us. Um, a real quick question is though, is that we need to be sure that um, <clears throat> uh, you know that we can cover that cost. And that's why I'm thinking it might be better to advertise in Puget Sound Business Journal just because it would it 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 covers more of the state. I think people okay, would I don't know. And if we have only like five hundred dollars, but if it's like sixteen or a thousand dollars to advertise for two weeks, um, I think we need to. We're into you know, yeah, yeah. We're still using again. We're still using another means of reaching out. We're still using those databases, which are again totally uh -huh. for free. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. And, Did you find the rates at Puget Sound, Mary? No, no. I'm I'm kind of looking at that. <clears throat> oh. 
I'm just trying to find their website. Yeah, because I, I thought that, um, I think Rod just said Harold, and I don't, he didn't want to sit down and think about it too long and hard because mm -hmm. he didn't have to do it, I suppose. Um, and actually, like Tom Morris would use the same guidelines as Parks and Recreation because they are a Parks and Recreation district. They too can mm -hmm. be an SRC. So. Yeah, and they have said just go ahead and advertise in the Herald, and that will do it. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. It might. They might even be cheaper to advertise in than the Herald. Yeah, I'd be, would be. Then, yeah, I'd be happy about that because I, I agree. I think that yeah, if with that that'd be super. Um, it's just hard to find. Well, I had to paste what I've been doing, I spent most of yesterday doing is copying and pasting this into the template, fortunately they have for the Herald. One thing I did do is pay, pay a little more money to have it. This is called a two column, uh, which reads nicely to get a better headline. Sorry, I cannot, mm -hmm. I can't handle the, you know, the, the, where it has a hyphen. But the one column, if you can imagine just trying to run the straight down one skinny column. Would yeah, it'd be really long. Yeah, so this was, I thought, the right size. This is easy to reference. This was, you know, um, we have to have our short links made up. But, and and in my guess at naming convention, I was just going to use RFQ 2023-01, 02, and 03. There we go. I just had to make sure I edit, edit this accordingly. That's our, our, um, the real, I mean, the whole point is this is the RFQ. This is what has to have everything in it. So I don't worry about it being a very short ad. It's, are you interested? Go here. Right. Advertising opportunities with us. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. Yeah. It's real hilarious. <laughs> what what tell me you sent off to um to uh Kelly, of course, also had Rod's commentary in there. Mm -hmm. I have no idea how to turn the damn thing off absolutely and totally. I, honestly, it is freaking easy. You, you, When you bring this up and you cannot see any of the reviews, if you generate a PDF, you are likely to get a PDF with the comments. And Oh, oh really? And yeah. I, by mistake, saved that version. And so then I had to, and it probably posted it, so hopefully no one hit it before I went back and looked at it and said, what is going on? So I don't know how to tell the whole stupid word, none, zero, stop it. Uh, not just with this session, but eliminate any tracking. I don't know how to do that. So just- Yeah, we'll wait. have to scrutinize the link. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Read it before you send it. And I'm usually good about that, but I was trying to get it out. So mm -hmm. uh, it didn't sit too long. I don't think anybody downloaded it in the meantime. I mean, he never said anything like with losers like yourselves or these <laughs> terrible people you're trying to get input from. <laughs> so, <laughs> and, you know, what's funny is it almost looks like it only showed up if she tried to go to the same thing he did. Hmm, okay. sure what, but anyway, so we did. Well, I was going to send her a PDF, and then I thought, well, they're going to want to edit and add comments. You're right. And that was a smart idea. That was uh, yeah, I can't find anything about rates. It's just like, yeah, contact us and we'll talk to you. Okay, well, I know exactly how, now that it's done, I have word count. Um, and it's like a thousand words or something. Um, I have all of this, so it'll be easy to, to check real quick. Um, but right now, just if people, another set of eyeballs, please to read this. I did do just one thing just now, and that was to say we have a state Grant. Yes. State grant to conduct. Yeah. Like I say, when I started, my original 
uh, costs like 350. This is down to 250 because I whacked out a lot of stuff and combined it with three. So again, yeah, to make magic, but now I think this works. Uh, we might want to we might want to on the second line say a beer in public doc just to make it. Uh, if you want to pay for that, <laughs> down here it says peer in public. Okay, for building a peer in public doc. Just to give them an idea of the scale of this thing. Uh, okay. It's not by word, is it? Is it just by language? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No, it's by word. Oh, oh, it is. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but it, it, I, I usually that's why some of the sentences are a little abrupt. Mm, okay. <laughs> See, uh, to connect. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so I think so, yeah. Uh, the other way to put it, instead of professional services would be three, uh, three consultants or is issuing three RFQs. Uh, I think it's fine the way it is, except I put the F, I put the F in. <laughs> you like it originally? I, I don't know. Either way, I think works. Anybody else vote? How are Rod's... Uh, Headlined. I'm sorry, did you say what? How, how, well, the, the example from Rod, how does he title oh, it? Oh, it was announced as an RFQ. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it was, um, yeah. I don't yeah. know how people search for these. Maybe having the See, RFQ term in there is a good well, thing. Well, RFQ will be in here everywhere oh. else. But then I thought professional services might be what they're looking for. Okay. Because that is a, it, it, this is a legal, it goes under the legal section and mm -hmm. special services is one of the sort of subset, subcategories or whatever. Some reason your F didn't come through again, Lane. What are you saying? Where are we talking about F? Professional services. <laughs> oh, oh, that, sorry, I didn't even think to. That's what it was before. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. Good. Yeah. So um that saves money by leaving out letters that aren't necessary. Uh that's yeah. <laughs> I figured, won't they be able to so this is <laughs> you see I went through like 12 other um uh and yet oh it wasn't ever there. <laughs> really <laughs> my eyeballs never found that. That is pretty bad. <laughs> I must have turned off the spell check for that one word by mistake. Yes, yeah. Thank yeah. you. That would be embarrassing. That's not very professional. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, change it there, too. Uh, Good thing I'm not typing it. We definitely have all sorts of spelling errors. So, so yeah. So, this is the uh, correct. Thank you. Okay. Um, I think I can grab that and, and actually do a spell check on it, just in case. Anyway. Okay, guys. We good? Yeah. Okay. Two, real quickly, I'm just going to... Um, and do we have the short links already set up, or do you, no, are you no, going to no. work with Alan on that? We need to do that. We, uh, I don't think I can do it to have the document, so that's why I'm okay. thinking it will be realistic. Uh, okay, real quickly then, a longer meeting, but it was critical, wasn't it? Um, let's see here. Lane, look at um, whatever is huge sound. Okay. Um, so... Um, the business journal. Is that business? Business journal. Business? Is this better? Okay, here's business. <laughs> um, the, I showed you the new map, the map for the Nugent Road. Um, I still think we should send a letter, but right now our very absolute, obviously off the chart focus this week is getting this these RFQs done and advertisement out. Um, so end of October is upon us, but they're going to have to get an early November uh, newsletter. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll think about that. Um, and maybe by the end of the weekend, I'll send you guys something to look at. Um, and then meeting minutes. And again, this is boring, but I'll just show you real quickly because I think it is helpful and it helps uh, sort of drive our agendas. I think what we probably want to do for each of our meeting minutes is, is kind of follow the same um, uh, out or, or, or um, what do you want to call it, format. And that is our key tasks. We always review, and that was an agenda, sorry. Uh, our key tasks, so the, the key things we have to, you know, keep the eye on the ball kind of a thing. So for, I can't find it right now, but that's okay. Oh, oh here it is. So for every meeting minutes, we should address what is our progress on each of the major tasks, each of the, um, by which I mean mm -hmm. the, the um, let me stop this for a second, stop sharing. Um, so we have, okay, so when we do this in our whole flow of the world, we have public outreach, we have engineering design, we have cultural resources, we have the marine survey, we have location analysis for a while until that's done, and then we have other business. So I just want to make sure, you know, every every time we meet, we go through each of those and say, how is that mm -hmm. task going along? Anything we have to do. And I think also it helps flow over time. Uh, if we go to RCO, um, we will have a progress report in uh, November. And that's what we'll look back to, to make sure that we're staying on target for all of those. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. I have a update on... Uh, Other updates, yeah. Yeah, I have a real quick update. I did sign the contract. Yes. Um, and uh, Dan and uh responded to me and I'll I'll just forward her email but she said that she is not you know real comfortable doing grants or financial uh, things but she is comfortable with uh land land negotiations and uh professional services agreements so I think that's where we want to focus her is getting the professional services agreements uh, done. So I think that's what I will focus on um, after Saturday. Yes. <laughs> and I, I do want us to get uh, something to Andrea ASAP that defines out what our kind of, what our realistic expectations are of our, our timeline. So I wanna get this to Andrea because she does say that she can backload that into the okay. contract. And I, I really am not comfortable until that is there. Okay. I signed it, but I was just because she said that they mm -hmm. do it all the time. Okay. And I will, I, I forwarded you her email, but I just really um, want, want to like copy that email and this is our response and this is what we would like to see. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, um, so I'll do that by Thursday before we post the <laughs> yeah. Tell her this is what um we we will be realistic and it's based on RCO original milestones. In fact, it's sped up a bit for the for the engineers mm -hmm. until everything wraps up at the right date. Um yes. and uh we'll get you guys a draft of that. Um turn that all red. Uh Yes, because our our actual 
update and I did want to send updates to Parks and Rec and to Public Works and other folks that says, hey, this is where we are with this now. Um, yeah. And once we have, that's cool, then we can actually, I, I should do that about, uh, tomorrow because we're long. Yeah, and I think it's better if you do the communic rather than me sending emails, she's used to getting emails from you. Okay. Um, but I, I don't, you know, I will, I will grab in and try to do stuff, but I, I think it's better just, you know, because you've got stuff coming to you for, for the RFQs and stuff and blah -dee da so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I can let her know we are we are doing the advertisement, the due diligence, the giving people time in the meantime. Mm -hmm. And uh, then ask, I, I guess, and ask her about the possibility of including, you know, dividing up the cost for advertising amongst the uh, project costs for all of the um, all of the engineer uh, uh, the three the three, the three consultants <laughs> fees, yeah. I'll, I'll is just, we don't, I don't think that we have a choice. We're gonna have to figure this out. Good news is, yes, it's true that we also have a big chunk of extra money because our, our survey, marine survey should come out uh, at a much lower cost, assuming they can. Do yes. With them. Mm -hmm. However, I still wanna ask, is it okay just because you move money out of one area doesn't mean you can apply it to another. Yeah, I won't, I won't send. I won't muddy the waters with that right now. I'd rather have one clean message about status milestones, and I'll send a separate. Okay. okay. Uh, and the other thing is wanting to now circle back with people about lending, uh, put, setting up the revolving fund. Yep, and I I will I will proceed on that now that we have a signed contract. Okay. So. We okay, will get okay. that set up. Okay. Fabulous. Ran a little long, but that was critical to me. Okay. Fabulous. We'll keep you guys posted. Okay. okay. I did. Um. I did reach out to Roger Kessler on uh, next door. So hopefully we'll hear back from him. Okay. All right, thanks for cranking on the ads, uh, Lane. Cranking, man. <laughs> Appreciate it. I have a crank by this right here. I get a little cranky now because I haven't eaten. I need to go see you. <laughs> all right. Okay. Thanks, all. Bye-bye. Okay. Take care. Bye, guys. Thanks, all. See ya. Bye, Chris. Mm -hmm. Thanks.